Hello everyone, my name is Electro Lab, and is your Minecraft boring? Are you losing at PvP? Do you want to be able to press the right control or right shift button and have unlimited power? Well, if so, then save and quit the title, cross your game off, and follow this tutorial. We're going to go straight to the Meet Your Client webpage, and then we're going to go ahead and download Dev Build 0 0.5.6 You can also get uh, the Baritone version, I would recommend just this 1.20.4 version. It should be the last version. It'll give you a download. We'll start in 3, 2, 1. Then it should give you an automatic save location. I'm going to select desktop to save this straight to the desktop instead of this downloads folder here. Go ahead and hit save. Then we're going to cross this off and cross this off as well. Then we're going to come down over here. We're going to see that we've got the Meteor client now. That's all we need. That's the only file we need. We're going to hit Windows key and R. I'm going to type percentage, which is shift and the number 5 at the same time. Uh, and then we're going to hit app. Data, APP, DATA, and then percentage sign again, which is shift and the number five. And we're going to hit OK, and that's going to open the location of our dot Minecraft folder. We're going to scroll down until we find dot Minecraft. We're going to double click on this. We're going to look for a mods folder. If one does not exist, we will right click, go new, and then folder, and we will name it mods. M O D S. That's M for marmalade, O for orange, D for dynamite, and S for something. Uh, we don't actually have this, so I'm just going to name it S, and then I'm just going to delete it, because we don't actually need this folder, because I already have it. We're going to go into the... Uh, where is it? Just a second, I'm going to pause this while I figure out how to do it. Never mind, I found it again. We're going to go and double-click on this mods folder. I currently have the worst client installed. I'm just going to take this straight out. Then we're just going to go ahead and take the Meteor client. I'm just going to slap it right in there. Uh, we should, we might need to run the fabric installer before doing this. Uh, if that doesn't work, just let me know and I'll try and make an updated tutorial. But we should be done by now. We just cross this off and then we go ahead and hit Minecraft Launcher. We'll double click on the Minecraft Launcher, that will load the Minecraft Launcher. I'll be back when it's finished loading. We have to watch this little armadillo now. It's ridiculous. Kind of cool armadillo though. Now that we have loaded it up, we should have the Fabric Loader 1.20.6. If this does not appear, the one, the Fabric Loader 1.20.6, what you're going to need to do is get the Fabric Installer. Uh, what you can really do is just go Google uh, Fabric Installer. But if I just go really quick to here and we just click Control T and we just go Fabric Installer. Just look this up and we go down here into the installation. I'll try and put the links down in the descriptions of these videos later. And we should be able to just go ahead and hit the link under this big blue button. And it should just give us a download. We just go ahead and hit save. For those who want to just snipe the thing here, it says fabricmc.net forward slash use forward slash installer forward slash. We just go ahead and close this real quick. And then we drop this down again. And get a little glimpse inside of my YouTube channel there. And we just come over here and we should see this. And we should have our fabric installer over here. And we just double click and run this just to be sure that it's going to work. Um, if you don't already have it, this is a necessary step. Go ahead and hit install. Just go ahead and hit yes. If the Minecraft is open, it should just say, uh, you, you close the game if it's open, but otherwise it should be fine. Let me just go ahead into the Minecraft launcher and just hit play. Uh, hit play again, and we should be done. That's pretty much everything. I'm just going to show you how to open it real quick. I'm just going to wait for it to load. Oh, we've just encountered an error. So if your fabric installer here is not the same version as the version of the client you're using, which we're using... Uh, I think it is 1.20.4 because it doesn't hasn't updated to 1.20.6 yet. They're waiting for 1.21. Go ahead and hit the fabric installer again if it says incompatible mods found. And we're going to go and change this version to 1.20.4. Then we're going to go ahead and hit install, hit yes. And that is going to go ahead and load. Worst tends to keep more updated than Meteor does because Meteor is a slightly better client in some people's opinions. I think worst is just as good. Go ahead and click this. Uh, if it's not working, it can mean because the game is open. Go ahead and hit install again. Um, Minecraft launcher is open. All right, so if, if this happens, open task manager by pressing control, alt, delete. Right click on this, hit end task to the Java, Java platform here. Both Java platforms, just close them, close them both down. Scroll through here, make sure you can find that there's nothing open. Then we can cross it off again. Go ahead and hit close. I think if the launcher is open, it should be fine. But we right, hit the fabric installer again. We should run this, sorry it's getting a bit long, change this to 1.20.4, hit install, hit yes, and it should just go ahead and load, and done, it's done, 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 and done. Now we can go ahead and open the launcher again. So this is just an example that I've put in for errors that can happen and how to fix them. Now we have the launcher open, we can go ahead and hit play, hit play again, and we should work this time. Right before we continue on, I just did forget one thing. If you have never used the Meteor client before, the Meteor is a little harder to install than the uh, the worst client. So we're going to have to go to installations here, click new installation, and then click this version box here, 
and scroll all the way down to fabric loader 1.20.4. Then we're just going to change this to grass because everyone knows it's a superior block. Name it uh, Meteor or whatever. You can name it anything just so that you remember what it is. Go ahead and click create. And then we're going to go ahead and go back over to, oh, what is it? Meteor. Here we go. Go back to play. Hit this little drop down arrow. Pardon me. And then we click on this Meteor button here and we just go ahead and click play. Click play again. And now it should finally work. That is the last possible error that I can think of possibly happening. Sorry it took me five minutes to explain a three minute job, it's just I haven't done this in a while, so it's a little bit slow, but here we go. And there we go, the Meteor Client has now loaded, we should have this little Meteor Client by um, MindGame159 Squidoodly and Sea Snail. We can now go into a test world here, I'll just really quickly show you the very basics. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a backup and load, just because this adventure map is 1.20.6. Nothing should break because all of the blocks that I've used in this specific world are specifically designed to not break in multi-versions because I used bedrock command blocks and barriers uh, as pretty much the only building resource. And uh, that some of the commands might break a bit, but hopefully everything should be fine in this world. You've got to worry about um, not wrecking worlds when using a hack client because you can wreck worlds incredibly fast. Please don't go on revenge missions with this. I'll just really quickly set the time today. You know, just so we have a, a better perspective here. Uh, so basically you hit right shift and that will bring up this menu here. There's a top menu in the top bar here. This will switch between all of your different hacked related things. The main one you're going to be using is probably modules. To turn one on, just left click on it, which basically means like if you're breaking a block, you click that mouse button. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, one of the very cool things is blink. So I can come over here uh, and we can go ahead and hit right shift and we can go ahead and hit the blink hack, for example. And then it will create a perfect clone of me, and it will trick the game into thinking that I'm over there. When I go ahead and hit shift again and turn blink off, boom, it's gone. Oh, look, I'm over here. It looks like I've teleported, but really, it's just an illusion. I don't know if it's just client side or not, but there's lots of amazing things you can do. Ghost hand allows you to reach straight through blocks. I won't demonstrate that here because I'm in creative mode. I don't want to wreck things. Instamine is crazy good. This can be a... A very powerful weapon or a very useful tool. So be careful how you use it because you'll probably end up with no friends like me uh, if, if you use it for the wrong reasons. Uh, you can also automate tasks with this one with something called Baritone. Uh, so shift, get in, and escape to get out. And there's also extra buttons you can press. So you can press shift. You can also move these little search bars around. They're not just fixed into one place. You can move these around and you can also click, uh, right click on the thing. If this happens, don't worry. Just press escape to get back to the menu. Uh, this is for everything. You can go ahead and go auto jump, escape. You can right click on all these different settings. You can change the fly speed. Um, you can change a ridiculous amount of settings. Just be very careful with this because uh, with great power comes great responsibility. And this gives you great power. Not great, great power, but great power. Uh, for example, I can step on this pleasure plate and I can just summon a storm of light. I'm, I'm just kidding. That doesn't actually happen. I set a command block thing up. I just thought it would be cool to show you guys. Uh, anyway, right before I end the video here, I'll just go out to get a clickbait thumbnail so that people will want to click on this. We go ahead and um, set our FOV to all the way in so that it looks more dramatic. And then we just sort of fly away. We can just get this pyramid in the background over here. Just uh, This is a thing that I spent hours building, by the way. I spent hours building this just for the thumbnail. Here we go. <laughs> I hope it's all worth it. And then we press the right shift button. Um, the right shift button, got to get the right frame, and then we just go ahead and hit F2, and then we add out, and then T, and then we hit this button here, and then that brings up this, and then we can save a clicky basey thing so that you guys actually click on my videos, hit OK, and that should be everything, that's pretty much all you need to know, you can just log out, uh, just be careful you don't wreck things, uh, like I say, with great power comes great responsibility, anyway, thanks for watching, have a nice day, goodbye.